Good day everyone. Uh, again, it is my joy to be a part of this wonderful ministry of sharing the Word of God every day on our daily devotional. I really missed this for a while while I was in my sick leave and today I am back facing and thanking God for how good He is. Not only to me personally, but to my family and to all of us, the family of Manila Baptist Church. Today, in our morning devotion, I will be showing to you a passage, a verse in the book of Matthew chapter 26, verse 31. Matthew chapter 26, verse 31. The verse says, Then Jesus said to them, All of you will be made to stumble because of me this night. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock will be scattered. Let us pray for a while. Salamat po, Panginoon, sa aming devotional. Thank you, Lord, for how you have been working in us and through us through your word. We continue to bless us indeed as we continue to learn from the scripture. And bless us indeed, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ had been talking to his disciples and in a moment of uh, fleshly fear they have experienced at that time, they disowned the Lord Jesus Christ. And number one example of that is just in three verses after this. Uh, in verse 34, when, when Peter denied the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, what is good is that the Lord Jesus Christ prayed that their faith would not fail. The Lord Jesus Christ prayed for them. Luke chapter 22, verse 32 says here, But I have prayed for you that your faith should not fail. And when you have returned to me, strengthen your brethren. The Lord had prayed for them that they would remain strong in their faith. Another prayer of our Lord Jesus Christ to his uh, apostles is in John chapter 17. The Lord's personal prayer, verse 9 to 11. I pray for them. I do not pray for the world, but for those whom you have given me. For they are yours, and all mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I am glorified in them. Now I am no longer in the world, but these are in the world. And I come to you, Holy Father, keep through your name those whom you have given me, that they may be one as we are. So this is the prayer of our Lord Jesus Christ to his apostles, that they will be strengthened and that their faith would not fail them. I just praise and thank God that their, this prayer of our Lord was answered. In Matthew chapter 26, verse 31, the Lord Jesus Christ applied the prophecy in Zechariah chapter 13, verse 7. Applying this prophecy to the disciples who defected from him after his arrest. So here is the Lord Jesus Christ. He was stricken. He was the shepherd, and the sheep, his disciples, were scattered. We had experienced to lose our beloved pastor, our senior pastor, just last March. And then came this pandemic where we cannot come to church and corporately worship. We have been scattered, but it did not stop us. To worship God. It strengthened the home, it strengthened the family where we can worship together and continually serve the Lord with gladness, giving Him glory, honor, and praises. So even this pandemic did not scatter us. It developed a family worship just like what had happened in the book of Acts when there was the persecution they gathered in houses and continually worshiped God. So we were not really scattered, 
but continually strengthen the church in every home, in every family. Our comfort here today is this. Number one is that we have a risen Savior. Yes, at that night the Lord Jesus Christ was arrested. He was sentenced to die on the cross. He was buried, but he rose again. What a comfort we have that our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is raised from the dead. Second comfort is that we have the presence of the Holy Spirit in us personally and in our church to comfort and to guide us. And the third is that we have this inspired word, or the word of God for our direction. And the word of God will infuse the church with grace, hope, and power. It will infuse us to be more better and for the best that we can do for God through his word. It's just I would like to encourage the church, Manila Baptist Church, that we have to continue with our journey until the day of Christ. Yes, that night the Lord Jesus Christ was stricken as the shepherd, the disciples were scattered. But there was the prayer of our Lord, and it was answered by God. It was answered by God. Let us continue to pray for our church that we will continue to stand in the midst of these trials, in the midst of this pandemic, that we will remain strong in our faith continually serving the Lord with faithfulness. Good day.